So, I'm sitting here watching the news after getting a call from my mom to tell me that they're bombing us. And I'm like, Mom, she's older. You got to understand. They cut into young and the restless. And so I switched to the news and I realized, okay, this is the Israel thing. After calming my mom down, I said, okay. I literally thought to myself, what would Jesus do? And I thought that because it's not correct. However, there's not a lot that could be done about that. I mean, you have to think about it. You have to understand. In times of war, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And so we find ourselves intertwined into the situation with Netanyahu, Israel, where nobody really wants to be here. However, uh, abandoning Israel is an option. However, killing 500 people to take out five terrorists? I don't, the math isn't mathing, right? What would Jesus do? Not that. Not that. Israel got the Mossad and the super duper blowing up cell phones and things. You know, they can exercise a little more caution and care in eliminating their threat. Just indiscriminately, indiscriminately dropping bunker buster bombs. Okay, you killed five terrorists, but you killed 5,000 innocents. I know, cool, my numbers are, I, you know, don't quote me on the numbers. I'm just, you know, I'm just giving the numbers for uh, measurement sake. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to kill this one person, so I'm going to take out 200 of these people. When did that become okay? Hmm, I'll tell you, it's not. And the issue becomes then, Iran has struck and in a perfect world Israel would just shout out a big my bad they said nobody died and let sleeping dogs lie but we know that ain't gonna happen we know that ain't gonna happen so the issue becomes are, are are we really talking about a religious state for any of these people? Islam? Jew? Are we just talking about hate? Okay, because Jesus ain't in none of this stuff. None of it. None of it. Okay? <laughs> and, and the conservative Christians and the Christian right? <laughs> I'm telling you, Jesus got to be on vacation in like a universe far, far, far away. Okay? Because <laughs> this is the devil's day. The Christian coalition in the United States of America, uh, uh, Netanyahu. I'm not going to say the Jewish people. Netanyahu. Okay? And the mullahs and mullahs over there in Iran. All of them. Ain't none of them of Christ. Ain't none of them of Jesus. Ain't none of them of God nor the Holy Spirit. Okay? They're evil. They're about control. That's all it is. And the thing, the United States may get drug into another war in the Middle East. But 
Because the enemy of our enemy is our friend. And not for nothing. Because Israel has always, since its existence, been there for us. Of course, we help facilitate the creation of the Jewish state. So, got to do what you got to do. But this is a time where we all take a collective sigh of release and realize no one is right in this. No one. Okay? Everybody get a poison pill, okay? Hamas, Hezbollah, the Iranians, Netanyahu, and the crazy Jewish politicians who want to just try to blow everything up. You can't blow everything up unless you blow yourself up. Is it that deep? Is it that deep? Is it that deep? Oh, wow, got nuclear weapons? Israel got nuclear weapons. So what? Jordan, Syria, Iraq, uh, uh, Egypt, they finna just all have nuclear fallout because y'all can't get y'all shit together? We, the people of the United States of America, we just can't lose focus because it's a clown ass candidate that wants to uh, be just like the rest of the cray cray uh, leaders in the world. Okay? Netanyahu off the rails. Okay? His own people is trying to get rid of him. And they can't. Okay? I guess the Israelites is not as cray cray as some of these Americans just show up and start I ain't gonna say that. Jesus ain't gonna like that. What would Jesus do? He wouldn't say that either. But I'm gonna tell y'all something. Peace is so underrated in this world. It seems as if no generation gets to escape war. This has been Deliberations with Sonia. This is your girl, Sonia. This is not what I wanted to talk about today, but, <laughs> you know, every day you turn on the TV, it's another PTSD fucking moment. Like, share, subscribe. Take your medication. If you don't have any, call your doctor, get some Prozac or some Valium or... Um, it's just all kinds, you know what I'm saying? Drinking is not going to fix this. You're going to need a fucking prescription to get through the rest of this year. Okay? Deliberation with Sonia. Get hooked up with your mental health provider. Like, share, subscribe. Tell me if this shit is taking you out of your hookup. Because it's taking me out of my... Talk to you later.